It's got a massive joystick on it. And here are my top five tones from the Walrus Audio Malay. <laughs> Let's see what's inside the box. Hey, I love you. Flattery gets you everywhere, Walrus Audio. Then we've got the instruction manual in full color and a registration guard for warranty, a sticker, a Walrus Audio catalog of other pedals, a pick, and of course the pedal itself in this funky box. Joystick movements and switches. By the way, if you want to know what gear I'm using in this video, there are links in the video description. But back to the melee, what do the knobs and switches do? Firstly, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. This little pink box has a massive joystick right here. And this is for two things. Number one, if you pull it back that way, you have no distortion. If you push it forward that way, you got all the distortion. Then if you pull that back and put it to the right, you've got the maximum mix of reverb and about halfway of distortion. And then all the way to the left, you've got halfway of distortion, but the minimum amount of reverb mix. <laughs> And that is, of course, a big feature of the melee is that almost half the pedal is taken up by a joystick. And that is really fun to use. But let's talk about the other knobs and switches. Top left is the master volume of the pedal. So all the way to the left is no volume. All the way to the top is a kind of boost. And unity gain is somewhere in the middle. So let's put that, let's put the distortion down. So we've got a clean tone. Then we've got three switches. Starting at the bottom is D to R or R to D. D being distortion, R being reverb. If you flip it this way, you've got your distortion first, then your reverb, and then flip it that way, you've got the reverb into distortion. Shoegazy stuff is generally more reverb into distortion, I think. So let's put that volume about there. So we've got a little bit of boost going into the amp, put the joystick in the middle, and we'll listen to di distortion into reverb first, then reverb into distortion. And when 
when you put the reverb into the distortion, things get a bit mushier because all those tails and all that big space is being distorted. So if you want something that's more uh, clear, clearer, in fact, um, you should have the distortion into the reverb. And if you want more shoegazy, big noise, big walls of sound, then reverb into distortion should suit you well. And I like that the pedal gives you both options. It, it's a nice way of deciding how you want the pedal to sound. Let's talk about the decay switch. So left is the least amount of decay, middle is a medium amount of decay, and right is the most amount of decay. It's still there. That's a big, big decay. And then we've got the tone switch, which is normal amount of tone, normal EQ on the left, a darker EQ in the middle, and a brighter EQ on the right. <laughs> The Malay has two foot switches. On the left, we've got the bypass, which switches it on or off. And on the right is the sustain, which if I play something and then press sustain, it will hold what I've played. In fact, let's set the decay to maximum as well. You can also use this, wow, that's a long decay. You can also use this to turn off the reverb. So if I play nothing and then put it in sustain mode, then this doesn't affect the reverb. So have a listen. So you can use it as a cool kind of kill switch thing. This joystick is immense fun. Um, it's really, really cool. Uh, we'll go into whether I think it's a good idea in the review sec section of the video, of course. And that is the surface control of the pedal. But there's more inside, thanks Walrus Audio, with some hidden modes. Firstly, you can change the reverb type by holding down the two foot switches. It's currently pink, which is the ambient reverb. Press them together, we've got yellow, which is the octave down reverb. And press that again, we've got blue, which is the reverse reverb with feedback. So let's hear it. I'll put the uh, reverb mix and distortion mix in the middle, turn the pedal on, and this is the blue one. It's also got a built-in modulation, which operates at 33 RPM and 45 RPM. Now that's no modulation, and if I do this, hold down the bypass, and then put the decay in, so that was, should have been on the left, but put it in the middle, you've got a little bit, so 33 RPM. So when the reverb mix is all the way down in this position, there's no modulation either. So you get modulation and reverb or just distortion.
Still there. It kind of reminds me a little bit as if someone stuck a distortion pedal, someone, Walrus Audio, as if they stuck a distortion pedal in their lore, which, uh, which I really enjoyed. The ambient soundscape pedal that I did uh, review uh, quite a while ago. But um, this is quite a nice distortion on its own. So let's just have the distortion and uh, hear what that sounds like. <laughs> I don't know if I've smiled much in this video yet because there's a lot to think about, but I'm having an immense amount of fun and this is an extremely creative pedal. And I haven't finished with the features yet. <gasps> More features. Now I'm just gonna mess around with the pedal for a little bit and do some experimental noise and joystick wobbling. So um, look forward to that. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue in a minute with some more noise, but I just want to experiment with the distortion into reverb and the reverb into distortion. I wasn't thinking it was making that much of a difference until that point in the video. That's when it started making a massive difference. So. <laughs> That's how most of us hear distortion and reverb in that order, but in this order... Yeah, so there's a lot more clarity when you do distortion into reverb, like the way that most people would play, I guess. I'm guessing. If you're into shoegaze, then you're probably doing reverb, distortion, reverb. This doesn't do the three, it just does the two. But you could do that, and there's plenty of reverb. I guess, yeah, reverb, distortion, then amp reverb, maybe, if, if, if you're really stuck for pedal board space. I did some low tuning stuff earlier with the Jaguar, and I'm going to do that again, because it sounded phenomenal. And I'm not surprised because this guitar used to belong to Chris Jupiter from Jupiter Effects. So let's try this beast. If I look at my tuner, that's tuned G, D, G, C, etc. So it's super low. <laughs>
That is so nasty. Let's try maximum reverb with no distortion or little distortion. Now we're getting somewhere. That that's a good tone. Yeah, that that is a meaty, monstrous tone. Um, I would play more, but I think I've got my point across that this distortion also works well on low-tuned guitars, probably well on bass as well. This really is one of those pedals that I could play for a long, long, long time and would result in a very long video. But let's cut to the chase. What do I think of the melee? Well, there's pros and there's cons. Pro, it is extremely fun and inspiring to have something with a joystick on it. Because uh, just like, like when you take a different way home. That's it, okay, stay with me here. You're driving to your normal drive in the day and then for some reason the road is diverted and you take a different journey home. It's almost the same, but just a little bit different and suddenly your day seems fresher. That's what this joystick is for this pedal. This pedal is a div this joystick is a diversion from the norm. And yeah, it is different. It does it, it makes me if that was just a distortion and just a reverb mix, I don't think this pedal would be as interesting and as fun as it is. But with that joystick on there, it's it's fun. But I don't know if it's practical. Because ironically, this pedal that's named for shoegaze should be nearer you than the floor. So yes, you can use your foot on it. I'm not going to try it. I'm going to snap it off because I've got massive stupid feet. But this pedal would definitely benefit from being nearer you than on your pedal board. So if you use synths or any kind of stuff and vo vocals through pedals, this would be amazing fun because you can instantly go from zero reverb to full on reverb. And then using the sustain, you can lay down a note with your voice or, or a synth or something and then play something over top of it or sing something over top of it a little bit like a looper. And again, this this is going to be a super creative pedal for somebody. Somebody, in fact, a group of people are going to fall in love with this pedal and create wonderful music with it. And if you do, please link to the video. And if you make a video, please link it in the comments. And I, I promise I'll, I'll go and watch it and have a listen and, and then um, maybe even share it. But the joystick is equally a plus and a negative. Plus point, massive fun. Negative point, you want to have it near your hands. Maybe it needs like like a six foot joystick. <laughs> like, whoa, that sounds like something Chipson would do. Anyway, right, um, something else. The tone and the decay being switches rather than knobs is an interesting choice. So these are technically three presets that Walrus Audio have set for you. And I don't know if I'd like to see knobs there so you could have as much tone as you want or as little tone as you wanted. I like that Walrus Audio are making decisions for you, but those of you who need absolute tweakability will, would want those to be pots so you could dial in just the right amount. And I think the dark setting, um, I haven't found a sound that I like with the dark setting yet. So normal and bright, dig it, dig it hard. Dark, not for me yet. So I'll need to do some more experimentation with that in my own spare time. Uh, decay, the long decay is super long. Medium is probably enough for most people and short is just there, just enough if you want to have massive amounts of reverb and a short decay, um, well, maybe not massive, 75% is um, is probably doable. And then dry, uh, drive distortion into reverb or reverb into distortion gives you this really tweakable way of playing. And it's also nice for people who've never put reverb into distortion because you can instantly hear the difference and with just one switch. The three reverbs on tap are wonderful. I've mainly played with the ambient one. I do like the oh, it's switching. It's oh, switching. It's kind of hard with fingers, by the way. I do like the the octave down and then the reverse one with a feedback giving you that delay is brilliant fun. <laughs> Whew, 
yeah, great fun. Also, I thought the LED on the bypass was too uh, too dark, but I think they've purposefully put a darker white LED because sometimes with pedals that have white LEDs on them, you get this super bright white light, which is absolutely blinding. And this camera up here, it really does um, not like white LEDs. So this LED tells you, in, it's, it's bright enough that it's on, but not too bright that it will absolutely blind you. And it's about the same brightness as the multicolored LED on this side. Saying that, the choices of colors on this uh, LED, I think are gorgeous. That pink is beautiful. The am amber is lovely and warm. And oh, I got and then the blue there. Oh, I missed it. Yes, the blue is, is beautiful. It's like the color of your loved one's eyes. If your loved one has uh, blue eyes. Let's talk price. Um, the price that I got told was 349 euros or 299 dollars which could be the correct price, it could be a street price, it could be the price that they recommend, or I don't understand that. What I will say is that that's a lot of money, but it seems that pedals are getting more expensive. And if you just want distortion and you just want reverb, then you can probably get a cheaper distortion and cheaper reverb. What you can't get is all the functionality of this pedal in a pedal that isn't this pedal. So. If all the things that I've done in this video have uh, made you think, wow, I need that, I don't have the money, then you might have to save up for it because you can't do the things that this can do with other pedals. I suppose you could do it with a multi effects, but then it's, you're probably still spending more than 349 euros or $299. Generally speaking, Walrus audio pedals should be priced in this area. And if you're looking at buying the Malay, you're probably getting it because of its specialness, its uniqueness. If you have this on your pedal board and you're using it as part of your signature sound, someone's gonna ask you what it is. So if you like showing off your board, you need the Malay because look at that joystick. How many pedals are you gonna have at a jam session that have a joystick on them? And also the distortion is, is usable just as a distortion. Let me just change guitar. <laughs> That's a fully usable distortion. And then you can just have a, a little touch of reverb, a little tickle. That's a perfectly usable and not usable, good distortion. Just take the reverbs out of it. And then just the reverbs on its own. If you're boosting that volume all the way up to get enough uh, volume out of the pedal without any distortion, and then you accidentally kick that forward, it's quite a volume jump, so keeping it there is safe. Overall, I think it's a beautiful looking pedal with some beautiful and beautifully nasty sounds in it that if you desire, I don't think anything else on the market is gonna give you 
what this gives you. So go and get yourself a Malay if you like this sort of sound. If you're into shoegaze, you probably have a massive pedal board, but if you don't have a massive pedal board, instead of buying hundreds of re or tens of reverbs and loads of distortions and an HM2 and some delay machine, this is actually cheaper than buying a shoegaze pedal board. So if you occasionally dip your toe in shoegaze or noise, then this could be the answer for you as well. And yes, I have been going pew 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 because it does remind me of my Atari from back in the day. Pew, 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 pew. Right, okay, thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this video either useful, enjoyable, or both of those. You have made it to the end of the video, which puts you firmly in the end of the video club, and to prove that you are a member of this prestigious elite. When you leave your comment below telling me what you think of the Walrus Audio Malay, also include the phrase, yes, m'lady, and that'll let me know that you watched this part, and it will make me chuckle. But, yeah, because that's the kind of thing that I find funny. Right, thank you, Walrus Audio, for sending out this pedal for review and for sponsoring this video. I am looking forward to seeing how people receive this and what music they make with it. There are more videos from me over there. There's a subscribe button down there and a bell if you want all those notification type things. My name is Andy, I'm the Guitar Geek, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye!